Hi guys, welcome to Tutes Online. Today I'm going to take you through the frontal bone. This is an unpaired bone. The parietal bone. The nasal bones. The lacrimal bones, the ethmoid bone, the sphenoid bone, the maxilla, and the zygomatic bones. This bone can be confused with the parietal bones, the occipital bone, the temporal bones, the scapulae, and also the innominates. This is because all of these are flat bones and the frontal bone is a flat bone as well. So you need to look out for the distinguishing features of this bone. And we'll go over these now. So we're looking at the ectocranial surface. Here we have an anterior view, and here we have a lateral view. First we orientate ourselves. This is superior, this is inferior, and this is lateral. Up here is what is referred to as the squama. And squama means scale shaped. And flat. Again we have an elevation and this is called the frontal eminence or boss. And we have two arches over the orbits called superciliary ridges or superciliary arch you have a supraorbital foramen or supraorbital notch And this is for the transmission of the supraorbital nerve as well as the supraorbital artery and vein. Around this region of the supraorbital or notch is the supraorbital margin. Here and here are the zygomatic processes of the frontal bone. And these articulate with the frontal process of the zygomatic bone. In here is the orbital plate. Here is where the nasal bone and the maxillary bone articulate. Moving over to this picture here, the lateral view of the frontal bone, we can see a projection here. This is called the glabella. We can also see the superior and inferior temporal lines.
Now we're looking at the endocranial surface. This is superior, this is inferior, and this is lateral. Here in the middle, we have a sulcus for the sagittal sinus, and so we call this the sagittal sulcus. And here we have these little pits, and these are called arachnoid foveae. And these are caused by the arachnoid villi, or arachnoid granulations, which are protrusions of the arachnoid mater, which is one of the layers covering the brain. Down here we have the frontal crest. And this is for the attachment of the folk cerebri. which is a fold of dura mater which separates the left and right cerebral hemispheres and it lies in the sagittal fissure. And that about wraps it up for the frontal bone. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Make sure you visit our website or subscribe if you want to learn more about forensic anatomy. Thanks and I'll see you soon.